Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Hey guys, hello gorgeous. Taking one more look at Titan's Return Fortress Maximus, who I've done quite a few videos on the past couple of months, all of the awesome third party upgrades, Professor Heisenberg and DNA. And uh, today's upgrade is actually not a third party. It is, uh, it's me, it's one of my upgrades. I've had a lot of questions asking where I got the custom visor on Fort Max and I made it. And uh, I've done a video in the past on the custom chrome visor that I did for my G1 Powermaster Optimus Prime. So uh, this is gonna be very similar. The only difference between that visor and this visor is that uh, all you're gonna need is a pair of scissors to do this custom. But same basic concept, it is reflective chrome tape that you can pick up on eBay, uh, probably Amazon as well, but it's, it's just tape. And it comes in several different colors. You can go with red, like the comic, and Fort Max's original eyes, or you can go with Autobot blue, like on the cartoon, Rebirth. There's a couple of other um, different options as well. I picked these up years ago. I'm assuming they're still available though. These are glow in the dark options. They don't glow very well though. It's just very subtle, but this is this pink looking one is glows red and this one kind of glows blue. There's a green one. None of them really glow all that well. I'll, I'll try to show off to you uh, just how well they glow here. I'll charge them up for a minute. So we'll turn the lights off here and I mean it's it's very, very subtle. But uh, if the room is completely pitch black dark, then it'll give you a little bit of a glow. Anyway, my favorite choice for all of my Fortress Maximuses, Maximi, both the Titans Return Fort Max, as well as the G1, is to go with a red chrome because that's just my personal preference. Uh, personal preference is for the giant guys. I, I feel like the red makes them just seem more ginormous. The blue kind of makes them feel more friendly and docile, which I noticed on my Power Master Optimus Prime. And red is the way to go for Fort Max, in my opinion. So uh, it's really not on there um, in any interesting way. I mean, there's just a really teeny tiny dot of sticky tack. Now you, you could use some two-way tape if you wanted. Um, I, I'm not playing around with my Fort Max all that much. He's just supposed to stand there and look gorgeous. So that's why I just use this tiny bit of sticky tack right here, or you could use two-way tape. And uh, these are the eyes of the original Fort Max and just kind of boring. Cool when the eyes do light up, but and that's literally just for a couple of seconds. That's just not gonna do. And it just, after a couple of years of looking at them like this, it just looked really, dead-eyed and uh, reading the uh, Headmasters miniseries, the Marvel original 80s Headmasters miniseries, I felt like he really does need that giant visor. And here it is, it's really nothing all that special. Um, the trick is in the folds. So all I did was I measured it out and uh, I just took a piece of paper, put it across there, had it reach from one end of the eye to the other and I'll bring out a measuring tape just to show you the exact measurements of this if you want to do one similar to this. So here's the measuring tape and let's see just how long this thing is from tip to end. It is just almost two. Two inches. Two inches long and uh, how wide is it? The width kind of changes but uh, it is just under, I would say just under half an inch. Um, so do whatever you want, do whatever you feel like looks right. Um, but that's the way I did it. And I initially cut this thing to be straight across, going straight across and then just a little bit of a recess for the nose. And when I stuck it on there, I didn't like how it looked on this particular face. Um, I, I wanted that kind of angled look. So what I ended up doing 
you can kind of see it a little bit better on the other side right here. I, uh, I ended up cutting, uh, leaving this part straight across, but then cutting on an angle up towards the nose on both sides. And that gave the kind of shades look, almost, almost like a squint look that Fort Max has in that uh, comics, Marvel Comics. And another thing that I ended up doing was I, I gave it a couple of bends, a couple of folds. Nice thing about this particular chrome tape is it comes on some pretty sturdy backing. So I just left it on there, even though you can peel it off there. Uh, I left it on there because it's sturdy enough to use as uh, something to insert into the eyes. And uh, just put in a fold right there and then another fold right there. And by doing that, it, uh, it makes it look a lot more three-dimensional and it makes it look like a third-party uh, add-on when it's actually just a really quick, simple upgrade. So there is a way you can actually, if you get the measurements perfect, you can actually tuck the paper right in behind on either side. I'm going into Bob Ross mode here. Now you just feed it through here. There's no mistakes. There's just happy accidents. Um, this is why the sticky tack is required because uh, I'm not so good, especially on camera, at feeding those lenses into either side. I was able to do it at one point and just kind of tuck it in See that part that moves? There's a bit of a, a gap, a tiny sliver of a gap there, which you can fit the visor in there, but uh, it's a little tricky to do. And then it's not very sturdy. I was finding it was constantly falling out, just sticking it in there. So the little dab of sticky tack, which you can't even see now, is uh, holding it. You can shake them around. It's not falling out. And the folds really do make it look more like an actual production Hasbro production quality visor. The chrome is fantastic and it, it just it does wonders I think for the look of this figure. Um, so much better than the dead eye shut off eye uh, look that that he has out of the box. So this is a definitely a transformer that's a great starting point. And as a former model builder, I really enjoyed fixing him up, adding little personal touches to him, because that's what models are all about. You have the base model kit, but then you can uh, really have a lot of fun adding extra paint applications and even modifying some parts as you go along. So uh, this is actually one of my favorite upgrades, even though I didn't get it from one of the third companies. I had to make it myself, but uh, I think... It's the, uh, the cherry, the uh, chrome red cherry on top of this Colossal Fortress Maximus. And uh, I'm just surprised that of all of the upgrade kits that came out for this guy, no one did one. There, as far as I know, there aren't any third-party Fortress Maximus visor upgrade kits. Maybe there will be now when they see that how easy this is. Um, Maybe you'll see on eBay someone cutting up a couple of these for you and selling selling you a four-pack for a buck or something like that. Who knows? And if G1 is more your speed, then you can do the exact same style of upgrade to G1 Fortress Maximus. And uh, same deal. He's got those beady little eyes underneath here. And I just felt like Fort Max needs the big visor. Once again, you can see the uh, the angle which I think is is the secret right there if you're going to do a Fortress Maximus chrome visor. It's all about that angle that gives him a little bit of a squint. He's kind of a kind of a old western type of tough guy character. Uh, and same idea. It's uh, this one is just sitting in there by uh, friction, not much friction, but it just comes right out. There's the original little sticker beady eyes. And there's the visor. Uh, one less fold in it. So there's only one fold 
on each side on this particular one for G1 Fort Max, but it's the same idea. And I'll measure that out for you as well. And this one measures out to be just about, uh, just past one and a half inches. Just past. And pop it back in there. So where is that gap? It's right there in behind, beside the eye. Pop one in there and try not to block the view with my fingers here. Pop one in there. I mean, it doesn't take exact measurement. You can be off by a, a millimeter or two. Um, this isn't sitting right flat against his face and, and I really don't care. The important thing is it's on there and I'm not gonna shake this one as hard as the other one, but it's, uh, it's a tight enough gap right there that'll hold it quite nicely. And uh, just, once again, give him that comic book look. Oh, you're, you might be curious, what's that on his forehead? It seems like I do one video and it just, it leads to more questions and it leads to another video, which I think is really cool. It's cool to just kind of organically flow from, from one video to another. But that's, uh, uh, Fort Max has that cross, the original, or the Titan's Return one has that, and the, the original one had that. And uh, I guess the G1 sort of had the cross. It doesn't really look like a cross to me though. He needs his cross right smack dab in the middle of his forehead. So I took some glow in the dark uh, tape and um, cut it out, stick it, stuck it in there. And now when you shut the lights off, you get a little bit of glowing. Not too much, but uh, it's enough for me. Again, just when the lights are off in the room, it's cool to see something on Fortress Maximus glowing. I guess I might not be done with this Titan's Return Fortress Maximus after all, because there is actually one more upgrade. It's a light that goes both in his chest as well as over on his uh, side gun on the side of his leg right here. Um, which is awesome. I think a bot as huge as Fortress Maximus sorely needs lights. Lights everywhere. Lights in the waste cannons would be cool. Definitely light in the clear chest. And then even the light up eyes are great on this one, but as we saw earlier, just being for two seconds. I'll take these chrome eyes which catch the light and shine all day long as long as the lights are on. Over two seconds of battery powered light any day. Uh, so I haven't gotten that light upgrade yet. I don't know if I even will. Uh, I'm very satisfied with how he looks right now. But uh, if I do, I'll do another video for it. Um, but in the meantime, good luck with your crafty endeavors. Making either your Titan's Return Fortress Maximus or your G1 Fortress Maximus look a little bit more comic accurate. A little bit cooler. His future's so bright, he's Gotta wear red chrome shades. Thanks for checking this video out. As always, feel free to share it with your fellow Transformers fans. And until next time, Nerdmas Day. Nerd